and one of my uh, YouTube subscribers would like to know how to change a suspension spring and a clock and how to go about getting the correct one. Well, typically, there's a pin in the top of the clock like this, and you were to take a pair of pliers and pull that pin out. So you would take a pair of pliers and pull that pin out. This is a tapered pin and you have to find which side is tapered and I don't have my extra eyes on so I'm just pulling from both sides. And sometimes these pins can be a real pain in the butt to get out. You can uh, take your pliers and squeeze one side of the pen as you're putting pressure on the post. And here, in this case, the pen fell out. This tapered pen here. And then you have your suspension spring. And these things break easily. And they're around, on the average, about $5 a piece. Some are a little bit more. See, I just broke this one, uh, getting the thing out. Um, let me see if I can find the other piece. The other piece is on the uh, leader assembly. So now I have a broken one that I need to order. And so what you're going to do is you're going to want to take measurements of the length and the width and preferably take a, uh, a digital caliper like this and get the thickness of the spring if it reads and sometimes they're so small that they don't read. So you probably need a micrometer. This is 0.1 millimeters. And then you would go to time shavers. And with that information, and I would suggest ordering a few of them. Here I have different springs in this box. These springs here are for French style clocks. And the way that they're designed, they go, I just happen to have a French clock handy, stand by. Here you can see that spring, which is right here. And that little section of the spring goes on top. But like I said, these springs here are for French clocks. These springs here, because they have the uh, notch in at the bottom, is for the um, uh, style clock that has a hook. For the um, uh, uh, pendulum leader assembly, a single hook versus a double hook like this, like my Dutch wall clock that I just worked on has a single hook, and the single hook goes into... This B notch style, if I can get one out of the package, the single hook goes down in here and the tapered pen goes up in here. Because I work on several different kinds of clocks, I have several different kinds of pendulums. Here's your typical German style um, 
a suspension spring and uh, that hook pin goes into this slot uh, this spring here is too small for the movement that I just took out this is a British made movement Some more small suspension springs. Here's the suspension spring that would fit the uh, one I just broke. And I hate working with these things because they are so poorly designed. This spring is compressed in between these two pieces of metal and then they are they probably took a punch and punched the two pieces of metal together they're not riveted riveted so um, I'm sure they're machine made and then you have uh, blank springs that you can make your own spring if you want to um, but and then you got springs that have plastic on them they make all kinds of different springs for different things but with this 1855 French clock that I have with the uh, pendulum bob all the way up it's still running too slow so that tells me you know, I took a guess at the spring that I put on this thing, and that tells me that the thickness of the spring is not thick enough. Uh, the thicker the spring, the faster the clock will go, but because it's too thin of a spring, I need to put a thicker spring on or a shorter spring because, like I said, the pedal and bob um, is adjusted all the way up. So stand by and let me take this movement out. Okay, I have the movement out. And this suspension spring has got this tapered pen right here. And uh, it is kind of a, a longer suspension spring. I think if I put a shorter one on, that will speed up the clock. Like I said, the uh, pendulum bob is raised all the way up, I believe. I could be wrong here. I didn't take the uh, pendulum bob out. I'm need to look at this pendulum bob more I'm gonna unscrew it it's got a uh, spring catch in it See, it can only go up. It can go up further, so I don't need to change the spring. It's just the uh, pendulum bob was stuck, which is good news for me. So, uh, getting back to uh, ordering springs, you can order them through Time Savers or Merits for a specific clock. So, 
if you have are having trouble with your clock where you need a suspension spring, you can call them up and tell them what you have and what you need. And I'm sure that they will help you out. But um, again, these suspension springs come in various. Uh, these are suspension springs for a torsion slash anniversary clock. But they come in various lengths, various strengths. Some tapered pens I got from Time Savers. So, um, um, if you work on a bunch of clocks like I do, um, you have different suspension springs. And so, uh, um, it's best if you can uh, measure what you have. And if you don't have anything, like in this case, I put the uh, the leader assembly on the clock and put it up the highest position possible. If I can get the thing to work with me. And then you would measure measure from where the tapered pen goes into to the top of that. And that's going to give you an ideal, but you, you want to have a little bit of a play in this thing. So I would make the suspension spring a little bit longer than, uh, you know, if, the, if I was to pull this leader assembly all the way up, you don't have any play. And so I would make the suspension spring a little bit longer. That way you have adjustment to put it on, you know, at, five eight ten dollars a pop a piece they can easily break as i did taking that one off i typically break a suspension spring every time i work on this style of clock and i tell myself well mark there's another five dollars down the drain but anyway, I hope this video helps, and God bless.